Hey everybody, Packer GM Brian Gutekunst joins us now, and Brian, busy night, yep. and your first pick was Luke Musgrave, tight end, what'd you like about him? Uh, tall kid who could really run, you know, playmaker, um, you know, he um, he's athletic, uh, he's got really, really good vertical speed, um, and I think he's going to be a good addition to that room. Do you look at him as kind of a classic tight end? I mean, he's certainly big enough and fast enough, or kind of a hybrid that can line up anywhere. I do think he can line up anywhere, but I do think he's got some classic tight end to him. He can, he's an all-around tight end who can run you know, all the routes. And I think he's a good blocker, and he just really fits, I think, the, the culture that we want here in our locker room. Too fast for linebackers, too big for DBs yeah. to cover? Yes, yeah, a matchup problem, a guy who can make some plays, no doubt about it. Later in the second, Jaden Reed, wide receiver for Michigan State. What sold you on him? Yeah, another playmaker. Um, not only is he a very good receiver who can play inside and out, but also a punt returner. And he's just electric when he gets his hands on the ball. And um, again, a kid from the Midwest who started out at Western Michigan and then you know, transferred up to Michigan State and had very good success up there. He is very aggressive when it comes to going after the football. Did you notice that too? Absolutely. He, um, he attacks it. Um, he, he's able to get separation and when the ball's in the air, even though he may not be the biggest guy, he goes after it. Tucker Kraft, third round, another tight end. Same position as Musgrave. Are they the same player? Not the same player, but they do have a lot of similarities. This is one of the deeper tight end classes we've seen in a while, which uh, really helped our board. And, um, you know, he's a guy that comes from a very small town and played at a smaller school, but he's a big man who can play a big man's game. So we're excited to get him as, as well. I think both of these guys have their best footballs ahead of them, and um, we'll see what they're able to do when they get here. Young pass catchers, a young quarterback, there's an opportunity here for growth, is there not? No doubt, and I think obviously these guys got to come in and work hard and prove themselves to this football team, but I think we got some really good young pass catchers now that will be able to grow, they'll be able to grow together. Now, you made two trades down in the second round. Could you tell us about the thinking behind those? Yeah, we, you know, we were sitting there with the 42nd and 40, 45th pick, and, and we just knew that our board was very, very strong in numbers. So after we made the 42nd pick, we just kind of thought we were going to be able to move down a couple slots and still pick up the same kind of player, and then that's how it transpired. If my math is correct, and there's some question <laughs> to that, if my math is correct, you have like nine picks. Yes. Tomorrow, what's the plan? Pick them all. I mean, you know, we don't try to get all the picks and pick them all. But no, I think, uh, again, I think we have a great opportunity on this football team. And I think uh, we'd really like to bring in some competition and, um, and just kind of really see how we can, we can add and keep moving forward. Brian, thanks for the time. Best of luck the rest of the way. Thanks, Rock. Appreciate it. And for the latest on the Packers draft, keep it right here on Packers.com.